And also, um, Blue Eyes Crying in the Rain, a lot of people associate that one with Willie Nelson, but first time I ever heard it in my life was Roy Acuff's really? recording of it. So, huge Roy Acuff fan. This is one that, um, that we picked up from him. I'm so glad you moved that microphone, because this song wouldn't be nearly as good without Jim Jewell. He makes this song for us. Y'all give Jim a hand if you love us. Jim and me, we cut this song back when I was 16 years old. Um, we did it on our Hope CD, and it was the first time that we had we had brought in somebody, except for just, you know, using me and mom and dad when it came to, to doing our recordings, because we would do multi-track recording, um, where I'd lay down the guitar part and then any other instruments that I wanted on there. And mom would do the bass, and she'd sing the vocals, and dad would do the percussion. And we didn't really have to worry about getting anybody else except us three whenever we wanted to record. Um, but nobody can sing a harmony part to this song like Jim Jewell. So we had to bring in Jim um, for this recording. And I swear, every time that this song gets played off of our record, it can be played a hundred times. And my dad will always say... I love how Jim says the last word, pray, at the very end. He sounds so good on it. Uh, like, every single time the record plays, Dad always says that. But nobody's like Jim on that. change. 